What's up YouTube, Agent Zero here and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Braytech Winter Wolf and Origin Story. So first we'll take a look at the stats, then we'll get into the perks, then I'll get into the subjective part where I give my opinion on which one of these guns I prefer and why. So first the stats. The Braytech Winter Wolf has better range, stability, and magazine size, while the Origin Story has better handling and reload speed. Now, the first thing to note is how I had these two guns set up. I had them set up with my favorite setup on these two guns. The Braytech Winter Wolf, I had the Chambered Compensator, which increases the gun to its max stability, but it decreases that handling speed. I had Tactical Mag, which increases the gun to its max stability and also increases the magazine size and reload speed. And I had high impact reserves, but that doesn't change the stats around. For the origin story in that stat comparison, I had the Hitmark IS, which is the top sight that you can get. And it increases the handling speed, slightly increases the range. And I had flared magwell, which is great for faster reloading and increasing that stability. And there's only one bread and butter perk on the origin story. I'll get into that in a little bit. Now let's talk about the two hidden perks I like to talk about. The inventory size and aim assistance. Both of which are bigger on the Braytech Winter Wolf. That means the inventory size. The Braytech Winter Wolf can hold more ammunition in reserve. And the magnetic force that draws the gun to an enemy is also stronger on the Winter Wolf. Other things... Perk-wise to note on these two guns, the Winter Wolf only has one sight. So the sight you're seeing on the screen is the sight you're going to get. You can though change around the barrel and changing around the barrel will change around the range, the handling speed, and the stability on this gun. So it may depend on what you like best. Do you want max range or do you want max stability? Personally, I prefer that max stability with the chambered compensator. Now, other than tactical mag, there's also armor piercing rounds on the Braytech Winter Wolf. The tactical mag was what I had equipped to increase that stability and magazine size, while armor piercing rounds is good to increase the range and also deal 5% extra damage to combatant shields. The Braytech Winter Wolf has two bread and butter perks. It has high impact reserves and Zen Moment. High impact reserves, when you're getting to about that halfway point on your magazine, you're going to start dealing more damage. And that damage starts to slightly increase as the magazine gets even lower. So you're going to start around half mag dealing 13% more damage. And once you get to that last bullet, you're going to be doing around 21 to 22% more damage. Zen moment, as you're shooting and you're hitting your enemy with the gun, you are getting increased stability. And I gotta tell you, Zen moment can turn a gun into a laser. It's definitely awesome. Origin story. Obviously, there are the three different sites that you're gonna see as this video progresses. The Hitmark IS is my favorite, but... There are two others which can increase the range and also increase the handling. Depending on which one you like, I just prefer the Hitmark IS the best because it increases the handling speed the most. And it's clearer, and I like having the clearer sight on my screen. Other than Flared Magwell, the Magwell that I prefer to have on, there is also a pended mag. It will drop that stability and reload speed, but it'll give you an increased magazine size. The max magazine size on both of these two guns is 36. That's something to note as well. And then the bread and butter perk of Origin Story is Rampage. Kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage with stacks three times. This was just buffed within the last few months and deals a significant more damage when we're talking about PvE. You're going to deal about 20% more damage after that first kill. I think it's about 40% after the second and then 60% after the third kill. So it is a lot more damage. But you have to get that kill to start increasing that damage. 
Now that we've talked about the stats and the perks of these two guns, let's get into the subjective part of the review where I give my opinion on these two guns and which one I prefer and why. Both of these guns are actually great for PvE. They both have their places. Origin Story has Rampage, which is fantastic for clearing out hordes of enemies, especially when there are thralls involved. The thralls are very weak. You can kill them without spending a lot of ammunition. So you can get your Rampage up to times three relatively quickly, and then you can start dealing massive amounts of damage on other enemies that are in that horde, regardless of if they're stronger, Regardless of if they're yellow bars, or even if you want to do some extra damage to a boss, you can take out those weakened enemies, and then start doing that extra damage to the boss. Another thing to note is that Rampage lasts 3.5 seconds after you get a kill. So if you get a kill, you have to get another kill within 3.5 seconds for Rampage to stay active or stack. After that 3.5 seconds, you're losing it. The nice thing about having high impact reserves is even though you're not dealing as much damage as Rampage, it doesn't go away. As your magazine hits that middle point and then gets lower, you're going to be doing that extra damage. So you don't have to worry about losing that increased damage. It's always going to be there as long as you don't reload. So if you let that magazine drop all the way to the end, you're going to get that extra damage. So that's decent for clearing out hordes of enemies, but it's also very good for hitting those higher shielded enemies. The yellow bars and the bosses, you could do that extra damage on those bosses and yellow bars. Zen Moment is also great. It lets the gun fire like a laser. You can actually get a little bit more distance in between yourself and the boss and then shoot at range and this gun's going to fire like a laser as long as you're hitting your shots it's going to significantly increase that stability and then it's going to make getting critical hits on bosses very easy. So overall, I think these two guns are very good for PvE and both of them kind of suit different roles. I would use Origin Story more for if I was clearing out hordes of enemies where I'd use the Winter Wolf if I was just going to deal damage to bosses and more worried about bosses and heavily shielded enemies. But overall, in PvE, I'm going to give a slight edge, and this is slight to the Winter Wolf, just because it is more versatile. High impact rounds, you can still do well against hordes of enemies, and you can use both Zen Moment and high impact rounds to deal damage to those bosses. PvP, we kind of have the same stuff. However, I prefer the stats on the winter wolf a little bit better than origin story but both guns 450 auto rifles very good for pvp however i just prefer the winter wolf a little bit more in pvp so for that reason i'm going to give my edge in pvp to the winter wolf i think the choice between zen moment and high impact reserves definitely great for the gun so overall i'm giving my edge to the winter wolf well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace!